here, certainly a calmer afternoon than what we experienced yesterday. How are we looking overnight and into tomorrow? Well, we're going to bring back some rain, it looks like, heading into tomorrow. So we've had a break out there today. And yeah, we actually got a little bit of sunshine late this afternoon, so that was nice. The temperatures, though, they're staying on the cool side and set to get cooler. As we move into tomorrow, I'll even say cold in a few spots. There's North Carolina A&T University. Congratulations, Miss Wright. And yes, you can do it if you set your mind to it, can't you? All right. Well, one thing I can't do is I can't change the weather, unfortunately. 67 degrees in Greensboro, winds out of the south. We just have to prepare for it, right? Our temperatures were 10 degrees below normal today. Tomorrow, they will likely only be in the low 50s. So that's some 20, 25 degrees below what is normal for mid-May. We got spoiled early this year, didn't we? And now the cool air is here. 67 in Danville and in Greensboro, 69 in Lexington. And temps tomorrow again are in the 50s in the afternoon. And then they will start to warm up some. So we should get back into the 70s by, looks like, the end of the week and into the weekend. Now the cloud deck that pushed through earlier didn't bring us any rain, but we will have some wet weather returning. But Kenny was talking about this, of course, an EF1 confirmed yesterday in Southern in Alamance County with 110 mile per hour winds wasn't on the ground long for just a couple of minutes. So we were able to pick up that wind shear on our radar streaking right through the Sutphin and Eli Whitney communities just east of snow camp. Here's where the storm was producing hail. We were into eastern Greensboro. Uh, Guilford County, I should say, and then pushing south and east. That storm just held together and, of course, brought down that tornado just for a brief amount of time. Thankfully, no fatalities, no injuries. Always so thankful to hear that when I see one of those radar signatures during those warnings. Now, out to the west, you can see there is more stormy weather and rain. For us, we don't have to worry about storms, it looks like, over the next 24 hours, but there will be some wet weather. It will likely move in after midnight. Pre-dawn hours do look a little bit wet and and definitely look chilly. In fact, the temperatures may go down in the morning hours, 8, 9, 10 a.m. because of the pretty steady light to moderate rain. By lunchtime into the afternoon, I expect that it'll start to shift off to the east. We may not get any clearing tomorrow, and we're not going to get any warm air, but hopefully we'll be able to turn off the faucet by late day. So best opportunities for rain are early on, and notice how our numbers are doing a little up and down here because of that wet weather. I think we'll be in the mid-50s by late tomorrow afternoon in the foothills. Also a little bit of a dip in the morning. I think by midday early afternoon, most of the rain shuts off in the foothills with a high of about 54 in the mountains. We are chilly, low 40s, eventually getting into the 50s, and I do think the rain will shut off a little sooner in the mountains. Here's your seven day forecast. We have got several chilly mornings in the 40s. We will warm up, though, by the weekend, and right now the weekend looks good.